Last year, in about October 21, we booked a pair of flights to South Africa using an online travel agent. Um, they didn't accept credit card at the time, so we paid via PayPal, and the PayPal account was connected to a credit card. Oh, no, um, I know what's coming. We is, it, is, this, is this dodgy travel like, agents incorporated? I, I haven't listened to one of these consumer hours before, so it might be a, a question you've answered before. Um, but essentially, the, we weren't able to travel. Um, we, we had flexible tickets, um, but when we tried to action the flexible element of those tickets, um, the travel agent came back and said, uh, well, you need to change your flights to um, a, a time within 12 months of the original booking date. Uh, the the wedding that we were trying to travel to had been postponed by more than 12 months. So, you know, we didn't want to just travel for the sake of traveling. We, uh, and we c- contested the fact that, well, they're non-refundable tickets. Nowhere in your terms and conditions does it say that uh, we... we have to postpone the, the flights to a date within 12 months of the original booking. Um, and then obviously the flights eventually lapsed. They, they took off without us. Um, and we went, we tried to approach the credit card company and say, well, what, what can we do about this? They said, well, you can't open, we, we can do a section 75, but, but PayPal have done what they needed to do. They acted as a, a sort of intermediary platform for the payment. So you don't have a case against them. So we wanted to know whether we had a case against that online travel agent because it wasn't made clear to us at the time of booking that the the flexible element of that ticket meant that we could only shift the flights uh, to a date in the future that's 12 months from the original booking date. Yeah. So uh, you, you say that it wasn't clear that you could only change the flight to one within 12 months. Was it in the terms and conditions? Have you yeah, gone back and looked now? It, it, it wasn't in the terms and conditions. So we've, we've Sorry, scoured it, it through was, the terms and conditions. It was or it wasn't? I, I didn't quite hear you clearly. It wasn't. It, it's not in the terms and conditions. We've looked everywhere in the terms and conditions. We've even right. phoned up yep. and, and asked them where in the terms and conditions are, are those terms stated. And they've said over the phone, we're informing you of those terms now. OK, now I'd be astonished if it's not in the terms and conditions, but I'm, I'm going to take what you say at face value and, and assume it wasn't. Because um, certainly when I've rebooked flights, it's it's been front and centre in the terms and conditions that you've got to rebook in a certain period if it's a flexible flight. But let, let's, as I say, take, take mm-hmm. it at face value, um, Geekesh. And uh, if it's not in the terms and conditions, then you are... Mm-hmm. entitled to rebook at any point up to the value of the original flight. However... However, uh, you asked if you can make a Section 75 claim. That's a claim against the credit card company rather than the actual agents. And the answer to that is no. Mm -hmm. Uh, And the reason for that is because when you buy, when you pay via credit card through PayPal, it's treated as a Mm -hmm. PayPal payment, not a credit card payment. Mm -hmm. And the Section 75 protection doesn't apply. This is something that's very controversial. There's been a move to change it. But at the moment, uh, I'm afraid you cannot get compensation from via section 75 okay that's that, that's brilliant thanks for that advice if i did want to take it out against the agent directly it would need how, a claim it would need a small that? claims court uh, a claim in the small claims court and i would i would really be 100 percent confident about those terms and conditions the best way to deal with it is to ask the agent to point to the clause in the terms and conditions that they're relying on and if they can't then then maybe you're right yeah 